waiting to do this video for so long. This is the first of my before and after videos of like rooms in the house. As you may know, my house has undergone like serious cosmetic uh, renovation, or serious, but like we've just basically revamped the house. Um, the kitchen was probably like the first to be done, I'd say. Basically wanna show you and talk about this, which we have created. So the original kitchen that was in here was, well, it was a black kitchen, which is okay, I suppose, because I've gone for a black one. The cabinets, they looked okay. Like when we when we viewed the house, they looked okay from the outside. It wasn't until like we moved in and we opened them and started using them that we realized that they were old and a bit skanky and like a bit run down. And I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't like them very much. And they had inbuilt oven into one of the cabinets. It was super old and was quite hard to use because all the buttons had all melted. Also, it was painted a lime green color, which isn't really my favorite color, I must admit. And it had laminate flooring. Uh, the woodwork in here, which is now black, was like wood color. Yeah, I mean, it was all, it was all right. It was a functioning kitchen. It worked, but obviously, like with, when you move house, you want to make it your own. I wanted to go for something that I liked seeing when I was out and about, and I'm a bit a hipster in the sense that I like going to hipster coffee places and I like good coffee and I like going into like the nice coffee bars and a lot of them were like, I don't know, I was inspired by them. Lots of white, lots of black, old and new mixed together. And I, that was kind of the vibe that I wanted for the kitchen. I wanted it to be really light in here. We've got windows, so I wanted to really play with that. Just really bright and inviting and really nice to look at. So that's why I went with the black and white and then, you know, integrated some of the more natural tones with like the wood worktop and then industrial looking like lighting and stuff like that. So I did designed the kitchen on Ikea. So you basically measure the walls, the doors, the ceiling height to get an idea of how big the kitchen, or basically to see how big the kitchen is. You have to do it so accurately though because it's done like down to the, the millimetre. If you're not very good at it, get someone that is. Luckily I live with a carpenter so if he's not very good at measuring, then there's gonna be problems. <laughs> I then went into the store to show them my design and they obviously then sort it out, or we basically did kind of redesign it. The tiles and the flooring isn't Ikea, but basically all the kind of units and stuff. Even the oven and the hob is Ikea as well, because you can have like all your appliances. Oh, and the dishwasher. We've got the lighting from a website called Industville. Um, so we have the ones above us, which are like these cage pendant lights. And then we have these hanging lights here, which look like this. So when they're on, they've got the Edison bulb in, but I got them because it's, it's like a mood lighting. If you're coming here at night time and you want a cup of tea, you can just put them on, or they're just there, just because they're pretty. I knew that when I bought the house, I liked the beams in the kitchen, that was one of the selling points, and I wanted to make more of a feature of the beams, hence why I've used it for a light feature. The tiles actually on the floor go all the way through the house to the front door, so they go through the hallway, the front door and I really like these tiles. We weren't originally gonna have them in the hallway, but then once they were down in here, we were like, let's just take them all the way through the house. And they went with metro tiles of black grout for the walls. Um, that's quite a trendy thing to do. My mum was totally against the idea, but um, then when she saw them on the wall, she was like, actually, they don't look that bad. I'm just gonna take you round and have a little tour now of the kitchen. Cameraman! This end of the kitchen we have, this is like the entrance to the kitchen. So you walk in and you're here. We've got the Smeg fridge, which took me absolutely ages to decide what color that I was gonna pick, but we went with the baby blue. Smeg's all right, I must admit, they look nice, but they are a bit overrated because they're, they're I mean, they are quite spacious, but you, for what they, you pay for them, it's, I don't think it's worth it. Eat sign which lights up. I got from Target when we were in Los Angeles. And this is actually a really cool light because I've turned it on now, but it's got a four hour timer and it stays on for four hours and it always comes on the same time each day. I don't know how it works because there's no like clock or anything in there, but it's just magic. So that comes on and I just thought it looked really cool. It's all the idea on Pinterest, so I got that. We just got our radiator, which is a new radiator and our little menu of the week. I got this clock, which is from Habitat. I really like that, like kind of old, I don't know what you call that clock. What would you call that clock? So when you design a kitchen with Ikea, you get to pick what cupboards you use for each storage solution. So obviously the idea is that you put in all the different units and then you kind of 
you put in all the different size units and then you fill them with like shelves or drawers or whatever. So I'm gonna show you what we got. So two cupboards that we have here are tall cupboards. And so the first one here is for, we've got medical supplies, dog stuff, booze, and then Matthew's protein things. That's what I've put in that cupboard. And then this cupboard opens up into two sections and we have basically treats and snacks and naughty things on the top. We have cereals and leftover Christmas stuff by the looks of it on this shelf. I call this the carb drawer because it's where we usually keep our bread. Um, but it's got loads and, and potatoes, but right now it's got nuts in and loads of Christmas chocolate as well. And then in this bottom one is a bunch of drawers. So for these I've used like rices and tins, baking stuff as well in the bottom one. You know, like when you have a high cupboard and you need to reach to get something out the back, I thought it'd be better to have them in drawers so you can just pull them out. So you won't ever have the out of date baked bean tin that's been there for like 12 years. Okay, so over here is where we keep all the storage for our cooking stuff. So we've got a big drawer here and then there's also a secret drawer. So we've got a tea towel and oven gloves. And I use this big drawer for pans and pots. And then the bottom drawer down here is for Tupperware. But then moving on, this is like my favorite thing, like my favorite thing of the kitchen. And it's this pull out drawer, it's next to the oven. And on it, we have all the spices and cooking stuff. And I thought it'd be really good because it's next to the hob. So when you're cooking, you can add in stuff. And also it's just really handy to have it in one place rather than like with all the other cooking stuff. Then we have some corner cupboards. And in here, again, we have like pans and trays. And I've also got like a blender, the George Foreman lives in there. We have obviously these end drawers. And in here we've got all the knives and forks. And then down here are mugs and glasses. And then in this cupboard is awesome. We've got quite an extensive range of tea bags and coffees and stuff. One of the problems that we used to face was storing them properly. So I thought it would be really cool to make a spinny carousel in which, whoopsie, you could access all of your tea bags and different coffees. And down here under the sink, we have all of the cleaning stuff. Then we have a dishwasher here. And then we have an end cupboard here, which is just kind of full of junk. The cupboards at the top are for glasses and bowls and plate. And then on the other section, we have teapots and cookbooks. So this was my kitchen, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. There are going to be other renovation videos coming up um, before and after. So yeah, this is my kitchen and I hope that you enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!